Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. Uh, I am here in Kraid, in Kraid's world, not uh, Brinstar like I kept saying last time, and we're going to go do some spelunking and hopefully kill a giant green creature. So, there's a couple areas here I'm probably going to go with uh, the save state abuse again because they're quite uh, difficult but some uh, news on me uh, my clavicle is still broken <laughs> surprisingly uh, not and uh, I actually had surgery yesterday uh, I got uh, a screw down the length of it to uh, keep it in place so feeling uh, quite a bit more painful but not too bad and I can actually kind of move it now I don't know why I'm trying to kill these guys. So, unfortunately, most medication kind of makes me sick, so it ends up being just a, a matter of uh, ice and uh, Tylenol, really. But that's about it, and I fell when I shouldn't have fallen. Okay, great. Let's try this again. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot to talk about right now. I don't know why. I'm just kind of moseying through here. Um, got another spot to uh, bomb jump. It's possible to uh, wall jump, but... Okay, come on. Let's get... The there we go. Got the rhythm again. Okay, here's the fun part. Okay, yeah, so I've got to get over there. i got to kill him, so hopefully I get a little bit more time, but... Ah. This bomb jump is annoying. Very, very annoying. Oh, I don't want to get that. Haha! -ha! Got it. And I can continue on now. This whole area here has uh, basically one goal, and that is to start the machine. Uh, and the machine, in this case, is those little conveyor belts that you've seen on some top of the, some of these rooms. You have to turn them on by coming over here, morph balling right in here. So then you can use them and they take you across the screen. It's pretty cool. And a new little mini boss coming up here too. Okay, so as soon as we jump on here, we are greeted by Mr. Snake Worm Man thingy. Looks like cousin to the first mini boss, so I don't know. But uh, now, since we have the various suit early, we don't have to get damaged by all that icky lava and crap. And And he can be shot using missiles or regular shot too, but it's just so much faster that way. So, now that he's dead, I can come up here. And little secret missile area. There we go. Missile tank acquired. So now that will allow us to get uh, some other items early. Well, earlier than uh, maybe she normally should. Um, 
that's another thing that uh, most speedrunners won't do is they won't activate that lift thing because they don't need to. Um, I need to because there's some tricks that I can't do that they can. Unfortunately, especially the tool assisted type. I am using an emulator, but I refuse to do super slowdowns and stuff like that just to get uh, exactly what I need. So, anything I do is my own skill, not because I'm playing an emulator, except for obviously the save states, but you know, that's. I don't know. Something else altogether. So. Oh gosh, wow, why did that go away so quickly? There we go. I'm doing a lot better on my ball j or my uh yeah, bomb jumps today. Um there's a nice little secret down below here, but I can't get that until I have the speed booster. Which I will be getting shortly. great one cool thing though that they actually gave me is uh it's like kind of like an ice pack it's an ice water circulator thing for my arm uh, I basically put it over my shoulder and it's got little uh, tubes and stuff and it circulates uh, ice water through to ice my shoulder for me so I don't have to keep on just changing ice and stuff like that it just you fill it with ice water and it and just goes you can control the temperature, duration, pressure, all kinds of neat stuff. It's awesome. I like it. Okay, I think I'm going to run to a uh, crate through here once I get all the stuff that I need to kill him and that'll be uh, this episode. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, there's a trick that uh, tool assisted speedrunners can do, which involves getting up on these uh, gravity blocks without falling through them completely. I can't do it. Okay, there's another block that we can't bust. It looks like the space jump symbol for those of you who have played before. There we go. That's the space jump space jump symbol right there, but it's an unknown item. <gasps> Analysis inconclusive. Incompatible with current suit. But that allows us to break those blocks that have the space jump symbol on them. Pretty cool. Oh, no, we don't want to go that way. We want to go up. Ah, oh, gosh, I keep getting hit by them. Okay. Samus, stop getting hit by them. Shoot them dead. There we go. And in here we go. Super fun room. Lots of enemies that hurt you. It takes a very long time to try to kill everything in here. So, I'll take a bit of damage. Ow, a lot of damage, actually. Okay, now, I have done this before. Instead of having to fall all the way down here and bomb jump up, I have actually blasted through those and fallen down on the way, but I wasn't able to do it this time. But that means we are almost to Kraid, who's right behind this bloody door right here. And he is big. 
and for some reason I'm not hitting it yet. But So now, yep, just like in uh, Super Metroid, you gotta hit him in the, the face with uh, a, a charge shot or a missile, and then he'll open his mouth, but now he completely gets rid of the blocks that you're standing on and gets very hard very soon. You to die, Craid! Shiny green Craid. Come on. Okay. Getting closer to the last phase here. Awesome, got my third. This one's almost a million times easier for Eamon because you just jump basically up as far as you can go and it'll shoot it right into his mouth. But then he's dead. Having a seizure. Oh, and look. The double door of Kraid and Ridley. Almost forgot his name for a minute. Okay. And our reward is the speed booster. So I'm going to uh, heal up here and that'll be it for this episode of Let's Play Super Metroid. Or Let's Play Metroid. One day I'll get it right. Zero Mission. Thanks everybody. Hope you had fun. I'll see you next time.